Restaurants, they are gearing up to host New Year's Eve celebrations, but there will be some changes and challenges that owners are facing during the pandemic as it goes on. Madeline Watkins has the story for us tonight. This weekend is obviously the new year. What are you looking forward to in 2022? <laughs> Some more staff. <laughs> what are you hoping for in 2022? Hopefully this, this pandemic be over, everything back to normal, and God bless everybody. The hospitality industry was hit hard during the pandemic. From being forced to temporary close at the beginning, offer takeout only, and now, nearly two years later, struggling to find enough workers. My, my father, myself, and my brother all, all work together. So we, we have a couple restaurants that we, we work together with, and we were doing a lot of cooking ourselves because we couldn't find cooks. Nicholas Sippis of Angelo's Northwood Villa says New Year's Eve is one of the biggest nights for the restaurant. So until the clock strikes midnight, it'll be all hands on deck before having the day off on New Year's Day. We bring some of the employees in because there's a lot of mess to clean up because we're here pretty late. And over at Sakura Japanese Steakhouse, the celebrations will continue through New Year's Day as the doors will remain open. The owner tells me he's trying to work through some shortages, though. Oh, it's been shortage and then uh, part of been shortage, staff been shortage again. I we appreciate all our customer uh, supporting and understanding. With COVID-19 cases on the rise here locally, health officials are urging you to get tested both before and after New Year's Eve celebrations and to wear a face mask if you're gathering with others. Reporting in Toledo, Madeline Watkins, WTOL 11.